I think that uh, mapping is today and one of the most exciting uh, inflection points that, you know, we um, have seen. Location intelligence is becoming all the more important. So when you said the problem that we are, we are trying to solve is the opportunity that really uh, MAPS has is that being in a position to move from just search and navigate to a process of discovery. And that's how uh, when we have enabled our navigation maps with artificial intelligence, we are actually aiding the process of discovery. You know, uh, it's a very interesting, I must tell you, uh, anecdote that, uh, or history, that it was, uh, some of us must have gone to a Michelin star restaurant. And it was actually started by a tire company, this whole process, mm -hmm. Michelin tires, with the idea that people, many years ago when they started this, that people would, would drive more, discover more. And this was a attempt at adoption of uh, mobility at that point of time. And with today's technology and with the kind of uh, infrastructure that we at Genesis have built, I think we are going many steps ahead in terms of the discovery process. Right, so we are doing this in two levels. One is, of course, in terms of the sheer amount of data that we have. And that data comes from the fact that we have embarked uh, on a digital twin program. This is for the first time in India, an entire 3D capture is being done of all the major cities. So what does that mean? It means that we actually create with our own aircrafts and with our own mobile uh, systems, a, an accurate replica of the city. So in that process, we map every square inch of the city. We capture every attribute, every street punisher, every um, storefront of the city. So this makes for very, very rich data. So at one level, as I mentioned, is the data. At the second level, it's the, it's the advent of artificial intelligence that we use so that our goal is that ultimately you can talk to a map because as you rightly said, these are some of the pitfalls that you mentioned. So you would, we would like there to be a conversation with the map. You know, that's really the, uh, the goal that, we, that right. we are working towards. So that's a good question. So one is, uh, let me touch upon the, uh, the part that you made that India is actually going to witness the biggest urbanization that mankind has ever seen. And our cities are bursting to the same. So we obviously need newer approaches to mapping. So we are adopting a lot of newer technologies in terms of keeping our map updated. And more importantly, we realize that we want the map app to ultimately become like a super app. So we want also the ability for the users to be in a position to do much more than just navigate on the app. And this is where the opportunity lies for OEMs in terms of monetization. So we have created a marketplace model which OEMs can now engage with their community. So everything today is about building a community around your service or building an ecosystem around you and that's what OEMs can very successfully do. There are some people who are diehard you know, fans of a particular brand of a car and therefore they, they do have a community uh, of users along with them. So the idea here is that how do you leverage that community and also provide more to that community? So one way you could do it is to create a ecosystem of services and products that are normally used and it can lend itself to a mobile experience or a experience when you're driving the car, which you can do through the map itself. So for example, one of the, one of the things that we are doing is uh, user-based insurance. It's also an, a, a service that, uh, um, a facility that we have provided, a technology that we have made, that based on your driving habits, you would be in a position, insurance companies could be in wow. a position to price your, your premium accordingly. Right. So why should you be penalized for a few bad drivers, right? right? So the idea here is that how do you A, enhance safety, B, provide services for good behavior, mm -hmm. three, or C, also uh, provide some kind of a loyalty program, which mm -hmm. currently uh, does not exist in terms of usage of the cars. So uh, these are some of the opportunities that we believe we are bringing to OEM. So. So whoever our customers are of right. our platform, we are in a position to customize a marketplace for them. Uh, we will be uh, also creating a kind of a relationship network right. of services that would 
you know, kind of tend to get bundled along with, uh, mm -hmm. um, along with uh, the platform itself. So take a case in point, right? From uh, Zomato recently has decided to deliver meals to railway passengers. So uh, I know for a fact that sometimes when my driver waits for me somewhere and he's hungry, he orders from uh, Zomato if I'm there at a place long enough. So there are now newer models which are emerging in terms of what can be the kind of services that you can build around a mobile uh, uh, world. All of us, whether we like it or not, end up spending so much of time, you know, commuting now that is there a way that that time can be used better? Are there things that you wanted to order for home that you could have done so in the comfort of your car? Are there things that you could have uh, discovered in the comfort of your car and the routes that you normally take, which you are not aware of? So I keep saying about the fact that you know what you know, you know what you don't know, but you do not know what you do not know. So there are so many things which even in your regular route, you're not really familiar about. So we want to enable that experience. There was a point of time when, um, and it still is the case, that maps and location intelligence and location analytics were being used as a method by merchants to, to clear perishable inventory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so if I'm traveling from, say, Noida to, uh, you know, right. to Connaught Place uh, daily for right. my commute, there would be so many merchants who would be interested to know that I go by this on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Now, these are some of the opportunities that are emerging for uh, the OEMs or people who are involved in mobility. So, uh, you know, we've been in the mapping industry for 25 years and we began in the US and we have pretty much have got experience in most parts of the world and, and a lot so in India. Now, the India's challenges are, as you mentioned recently, besides the pace of change, is also many other challenges which are there. One is that there is no uh, structured addressing in our country. Every city has got its own, you know, logic or lack of logic yeah. for, for addressing. We also have satellites that we use. We have our own aircrafts that we use. Uh, we have our own mobile sensor, mobile uh, mapping systems. So we have collected imaging of almost 1 million kilometers of 1,500 towns and cities. So we have a plethora of uh, approaches that we take to keep our maps current.